U.S. Navy faces many threats. One representative threat is unmanned aerial systems, or UASs. Conventional weapons, such as missiles and projectiles, are important to ship defense, but they're expensive, limited, and require time to engage a target. High-energy lasers augment conventional systems by providing speed of light engagements with reduced collateral damage at tactically significant ranges with cost savings realized by minimizing the use of defensive missiles and projectiles. The Naval Sea Systems Command's Directed Energy and Electric Weapon Systems Program Office, or PMS-405, is investigating the use of high-energy laser systems on Navy surface ships. One such system is the Navy Laser Weapon System, or LAWS. The Directed Energy Warfare Office, or DWO, of the Naval Surface Warfare Center in Dahlgren, Virginia, is the technical direction agent for LAWS. NSWC Dahlgren has been performing laser research, development, test, and evaluation for decades. LAWS is a system under development that tracks targets and engages them by combining six high-energy lasers into one powerful beam of light. The current LAWS prototype consists of the laser sources, power systems, cooling units, sensors, tracking and control hardware, and a custom beam director on a Kamito mount. The mount moves the LAWS beam director to keep the laser pointed at the target. LAWS is planned to be integrated with and complement the capabilities of the Mark 15 close-in weapon system, or CWIS. CWIS is a computer-controlled, rapid-fire, radar-guided 20-millimeter auto cannon that shoots at close-in air and surface threats. CWIS was developed by the Program Executive Office for Integrated Warfare Systems, or PEO IWS 3BC, along with its prime contractor, Raytheon Missile Systems. In 2009, LAWS was tested against UASs in a desert environment at the Naval Air Warfare Center in China Lake, California. A team of scientists and engineers from NSWC Dahlgren, Computer Sciences Corporation Innovative Science and Technology Experimentation Facility, Pennsylvania State University Electro Optic Center, and L3 Brashear set up and operated the LAWS system and instrumentation. The SeaWiz was not part of this test. The UASs were launched and flew a realistic flight pattern for engagement by the LAWS system at tactical distances. The test at China Lake was a complete success, locating, tracking, and shooting down five UASs at different ranges. Each of them caught fire, lost control, fell to the desert floor, and crashed, causing complete destruction of the UAS. The test demonstrated the capability of the LAWS system. In 2010, LAWS was tested against a threat representative UAS target in an over-the-water combat representative scenario at San Nicolas Island, California. This remote island, about 60 miles off the coast of California near Ventura, provided realistic and challenging maritime conditions. During this test, LAWS was connected to a SeaWiz system which provided designation or initial pointing data to the LAWS system. Scientists and engineers from NSWC Dahlgren operated the LAWS system and instrumentation, while SeaWiz was operated by Raytheon. The UASs were flown over the ocean for engagement by the LAWS system. The test at San Nicolas Island was also a complete success, locating, tracking, and destroying four UASs. These were the Navy's first detect-through-engage laser shootdowns in a maritime environment. LAWS program manager Captain David Keel said, the success of this effort validates the military utility of directed energy weapons in a maritime environment. Further development and integration of increasingly more powerful lasers into LAWS will increase both the engagement range and target sets that can be successfully engaged and destroyed. Other targets were also successfully engaged during the San Nicolas Island test. The highly successful tests at China Lake and San Nicolas Island show that LAWS is a capable, effective, and accurate system in both desert and maritime environments. The next step is integrating LAWS with a ship and the SeaWiz. LAWS is also a low-risk, high-payoff technology. It's the surface Navy's first tactical development for fielding of a directed energy weapon system. 
laws represents a game-changing technology that will provide Navy ship commanders with a new weapon that has nearly instantaneous time of flight, a deep magazine, and the ability to conserve defensive missiles and projectiles for use on other targets.